Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like at a clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom B Pow Picks Edition, which I do all the time. Although, I did a fancy new thing. Uh, actually, it's not really new. It's something I've been doing for a long time with the Steel Flyers crew, they're called. It's not a Flyers site, it's an all sports site. But we did a hockey uh, trade deadline north division uh special and uh you can check it out it's pretty cool i liked it uh so i'm doing this early in the evenings uh, i will go over the picks from from tonight which could be last night if you're listening you know what i mean i think it's the 10th today so if it's the 11th it's the 10th but i don't have them all in here but we're going to take a look at them uh, thanks for subscribing. The Pearls of Wisdom necklaces from Helen are, and uh, and uh, Hernandez are flying out of here. The Pearlocopters are just going, woo. I might have to get some more. I might have to hire myself another Pearlocopter here pretty soon, the way things are going. But so hit that, if you haven't already, I don't know why you haven't, hit that subscribe button and uh, enjoy the fine programming I'm about to give you right no. Okay, let's look at, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to dupe all the picks for today, for tomorrow, for the 11th, lines and totals. You're going to get all the early picks. Okay, those change sometimes when, uh, with goaltender confirmations and all that. That's why people go over to, a, to the Patreon of Frolic. BPAL picks. I leave the link down there. And uh, if you have a problem with the link, search BPAL picks in uh, Safari. Hit that. Go to pick a tier. It tells you to, it tells you tiers. Hit the tiers. Pick a tier. And I will reimburse you. You'll get a free uh, this month free. Whatever's left of this month free. Uh, so yeah, and you can have fun and you can quit anytime you want. It doesn't cost you a dime. Okay, let's get to, uh, what do we got here? I was watching, uh, John from Off the Wall Hockey. He, he's, he does, uh, pretty fantastic lives, uh, play-by-plays. Um, which one did, which game did he do today? Uh, Jeez, uh, it'll come to me. Actually, it'll come to me while I'm doing this. We'll take a look at this. This is what my Patreon looks like, by the way. There, that's my record. Uh, I gotta update this. My hockey should be about 123 to 95 now. 123 correct, 95. That's doing every pick, every total, every lean. I'm almost at 60 some percent. That's not even including my favorite picks. I'm. That's including picks that. I, you know, I just do every single one and I give you an analysis for every game. It's pretty cool. Look at my tennis, 107 and 77. Rocking it. Okay, so uh, let's look at the scores here. Uh, this was poopy. I, I got so fed up with the Oilers, I, pr I took Senators PL in under six and a half. <laughs> but for medium pearls, I got my ass handed to me on that game. And sometimes, you know, that what you do is you, it's an emotional thing. You uh, you pick on emotion. And Oilers are my team, and I was getting pretty fed up with them. I'd like to say, hey, they're playing well now and all of that and uh, do that. But they're so inconsistent, it's crazy. Anyways, lost on that. I have... The Avalanche here, money line, which only pays about 157 for two units. They're out shooting 37 to 12, the Coyotes, and it's still 1 1. Ranta is just going crazy. I don't know, I had a feeling that they weren't, <clears throat> they weren't going to win in regulation because I, I didn't like the juice at 157. Um, I did have a small play on the over, but I wasn't sure about it. Um, and it doesn't look like it's going to come in, but I don't mind not getting that one because it should be over. Uh, they've been totally outplaying uh, Arizona here, and uh, the reason why I had a small play on the over 
was that um, Grubauer hasn't been playing all that well, but he hasn't had to play well here. Arizona has really been terrible. Is this – did Colorado just get a slashing penalty now? No, Arizona did. Okay. Uh, Kings versus Ducks. We had the Kings for medium pearls. And um, after I found out that Gro Gro uh, Groznik was going to be in, I put in a play on the over. So we need two goals for the over. Groznik is like a third string goaltender. I thought the Ducks could at least pot two against them. And uh, I like the Kings. I really like the Kings. They haven't been hitting the way I, I thought they would, but I think they will as we continue here. I've got the under here on the Canucks Canadians game. This is my big play today. I got biggest money on big money on the uh, Canucks Canadians under. And so far, so far, it's looking pretty good. Mostly because Demko is playing so well for the Canucks. Uh, he's been playing fantastic. But Canucks have the Canucks have Peterson out, their best score center. So less likely they're going to score a lot. And uh, Montreal, uh, their new coach is obviously putting a very defensive system down. He's starting out with defense and working into, working the offense into it. So I thought that was a for sure under. That was my for sure play. Uh, wild, we had the wild for medium. We had someone, uh, we, ha we had small on, or no, sorry, I had medium on the under. And we had a unit on the wild to win this for plus money. So it was pretty good. So not a bad day, all, all considered. We're right about breaking even I think uh, if we get the under on under and Vancouver we're up for sure so and if Colorado can pull this out then we're really up so doing well okay let's look at tomorrow's game shall we we'll go over to the odds this is odd shark by the way people have asked you I've read your letters thank you for sending your letters this is Odd Shark. Check it out. It gives you like opening Bodog. It gives you all of these different betting apps uh, and they're your best odds that you can get. Like uh, for instance, for, for the Rangers and Boston, uh, I am leaning. I am leaning over on this game. Panarin will could very well be back here. Um, and that could be a big boost to the Rangers. Both defenses are poopy right now. Boston's defense has been really bad. Tuka Rask will be in. That's my main concern about the over in this. Tuka Rask can steal a game pretty easy. Uh, did they just? No. Can steal a game. So um, I'm leaning over simply because both defenses are poor. Boston has significant injuries on their defense. Lau's own. And uh, who was the other one? Big one, big one. Oh, Carlo. Yeah. And they have not been doing well since those two have been out. And for a while, Grizzly too. The Rangers, just overall defense. Their top four is fine, but they're five, six of Johnson. And uh, I can't remember who the other guy is off the top of my head, but it's not a very good combination anyways. Um, who is it? It's bugging me. Smith. Johnson and Smith. Not very good. Uh, so, and also, Shesterkin's hurt. Gorgiev has been meh. So, I'm going to put a little on Boston ML here. Boston's been struggling. But at home, I think they'll get it through here. Uh, get, they'll make it through here. And uh, I'll put some on the over at five and a half. Getting good juice. Bet online. Check it out. Uh, Pittsburgh, Buffalo. Can you really ever stop going against Buffalo? Like their energy is just horrible. Yes, they almost beat the Philadelphia Flyers, but the Philadelphia Flyers defense is terrible. And uh, Carter Hart has really been having a very struggling year. It's been hard to watch. I'm a Flyers fan and an Oilers fan. So I got to go with Pittsburgh and I got to go the over here. Um, Carter Hutton should be in that. I think think they might go with the Johansson kid but either way actually even more with Hutton Hutton's terrible 
Jari can be leaky too. So Buffalo can probably pot a couple against Pittsburgh. You know, I could see this like 5-2, something like that. Uh, so I'm probably going the over, and I'm going to go Pittsburgh in regulation probably. Uh, but certainly Pittsburgh. Money line's not paying very much juice. I The score I just gave you, you could probably try to PL it, although PLs have been burning me as of late. Carolina, Nashville. I'm going Carolina. Um, last game it was voodoo that Carolina only won that game 3-2 um, Nashville pretty much they, I, they have been playing better but Carolina is rocking and they should have a read on Nashville now after just playing them one game already I'm sure they're going to be pissed that they only won that 3-2 to tell you the honest truth the way Brindamore is he likes to slaughter teams and that's the way a coach should be so I'm going to take Carolina I'm, I'm probably going to go back to the PL here Again, even though it burnt me last time. Uh, Nashville is going to keep on going with Rene. Like, can this guy keep on holding up? I just can't see it. Carolina uh, probably will go with Reimer here. So Nashville should score a little bit. If we got a five and a half, do we got a five and a half? Over, 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 over. Over five there, five and a half. Uh, New Jersey versus the Islanders. Um, I can't not take the Islanders. I know they're going to lose one eventually, but and it could be this one, I suppose. You know, but they're playing so well, and New Jersey's so not. Although they did come back against Washington, um, but I just, I'm just going to go with the Islanders. Uh, I'm probably going to money line this. It's not much, but. I, um, they have, New Jersey has a hot goaltender in Wedgwood right now. That's the problem with this. Uh, if if he just keeps on rolling, New Jersey could steal one away here. I want to go the over five here, but this should be Varlamov or I, I'm on the fence about the over under here. I it's it's five. I don't like the five. I don't like the five. The way the I'm going to go over five. Philadelphia, Washington, overs, overs, overs today because I'm probably going to look towards over here. Philadelphia's defense is just too bad. And I'm taking Washington uh, on the money line at plus money. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing that. I'm taking Washington money line. I know it's on the road, uh, but. With Philadelphia's defense the way it is, I, I, I can't. And I, it's, it's posted that Carter Hart's going to be in, in. I may switch here or at least lessen my bet if they put Elliott in, which they should. Philadelphia puts their backup, Elliott. If you want to call him a backup right now, he's a better goaltender right now. So I may, put, uh, I may lessen my bet, but I got to go with Washington ML. Florida versus Columbus. Um, until I see a Columbus team that has any pushback at all or something, I mean, I think they're going to be fine next year, but this year, this team is a shambles. Uh, I'm going to keep on rolling with Florida ML, especially if you get, can you get 180? If you can get 180 at Bodog, go take Florida ML. Uh, as far as the over-under, I'd probably fade the over-under here. It, it, until Columbus can get uh, their uh, Merzlikens back and they're not putting uh, Corpusalo in every single game. Uh, not to mention Drager should be in here. Um, Drager, if Drager's in, Columbus is going to have a tough time scoring. No, 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 that's right. It's Bobrovsky that's going to be in. And they only scored two against them last time. Over. I'm going to go over. Over five and a half. Uh, Winnipeg versus Toronto. Winnipeg won last time. Toronto really kind of outplayed them. I think Toronto will win this one. The thing is, I'm going under on this game. Uh, I think it was 4-3 last game, though. At six and a half, I think Toronto's going to play tighter defensively. Um, 
Hollabuck has been playing better. It should be Anderson in here. I'm going to lean under. I think it's just Toronto really wants to play a more defensive game against Winnipeg, and I think they'll figure it out, and they'll actually do that. So I see something like a 4-2 game or something like that, somewhere around that nature, somewhere around there. wouldn't put huge on it, um, but I would give it a shot. And I take Toronto ML. I don't think you're getting much on the ML, but – Actually, that's terrible on the ML. Uh, I don't like them in reg, though. Winnipeg is playing way too strong to in reg them. I would just take it ML. Tampa, Detroit. I'm taking Tampa PL again. There's no way Detroit's going to do the same thing again. Tampa should be coming out with a vengeance here against this Detroit team. Now, Bernier will be in that, though, uh, I imagine, um, since Grice was in last time. The question is, is, are they going to be able to, is Detroit, Tampa should put Vasilevsky back in. Or is, are they got a back-to-back -back here? Just one second. We'll go to, quickly go to, maybe it's McElhaney. Is Toronto going to be going to a back-to-back? -back? No, the back-to-back -back is not now. It's going to be, uh, McElhaney will probably play here. I'm guessing. Could be wrong. Go over to Patreon so I can keep you posted on who's in. Uh, uh, no, sorry, this is Winnipeg. What am I talking about? McElhaney. It's not going to be McElhaney. It's going to be... Uh, what's his name? It's still 1-1. One, one. I can't believe that. You know who it is. Tell me in the comment section what his name is. For some reason, I can't remember. Anyways, they're back up. They're third stringer. Uh, yeah, I don't think. I think they're going to go back to Anderson. They don't want to lose to Winnipeg two games in a row. So I think they're going to go back to Anderson there for sure. Uh, Dallas, Chicago. I can't see Dallas beating Chicago as badly as they did last time. Lankinen will be in net. I think it'll be a closer game, but I still think Dallas will win. Dallas is a very heavy team. Chicago is very slight. I wonder if they're going to go with the kid or they're going to go back to Hudobin here. My inkling says they're going to go to Hudobin. Oh, is Lankanen injured? No, he's not injured. I don't even know why they played Subban last game. But anyways, they're probably going to go with Lankanen. Lankanen's fresh. Probably be a close game. I'll lean Dallas, and I'll lean the under after a blowout. So I'll go the under on that game. Uh, Montreal versus Calgary on a back-to-back. -back. Allen will be in. No, yeah, Montreal's on a back-to-back. -back. Calgary, did they just do a lot of travel? I believe they did. Or are they playing them at home? No, 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 no. Yeah, are they playing them at home? Okay. Um, Montreal went Vancouver and then going to Calgary. I think Calgary, they, this is tough because this Calgary team is really poopy. But Montreal is playing tonight and then they're playing Calgary tomorrow. They're going to put Allen in. I'm going to lean Calgary here. I'm going to lean Calgary. Uh, this will be the game that Dwayne Setters behind the bench. Yeah, I'm going to lean Calgary and probably under again, under five and a half. Okay, boys and girls, that's my full 42. That's all I have to give to you today. Uh, hit the subscribe and the bell. Uh, go over to Patreon. Get your free month. Um, I'll send you a Pearls of Wisdom necklace if you do that too. Why not? I'm just throwing them all around willy-nilly. Helen, Helen, uh, she, where are you guys? Helen has been uh, working hard doing tons of them. Pearls of Wisdom necklaces and stitching them and sewing them all together for you. So, 
go over to Patreon. I'll give you that and a free month. Have a great day, everybody. Lots of love to you. Okay, bye.